Hey everyone, we meet again. So I hope you all are doing well. Today is Friday and it's 2.50 p.m. It's a very, very hot day. So I have a lot to actually get on, starting with backlog. The mics are open. I have not listened to them in almost two and a half months. So I have a lot to catch up on, starting with today's episode. And uh, I know for sure, Nita Angalia, that's just a guarantee. Another thing is that I have this to deal with as well. I have very nasty looking makeup brushes that need to be cleaned because next week I have a wedding to attend to and uh, I cannot have a flawless makeup look if this are in this state. So I'll take you guys through the cleaning process and also the wedding preparations that is like getting my whole outfit getting my hair done which i know right now my contours are looking like the absolute shambles but we move because i can't stay with my hair squeezy when i get my hair done in a fumuka because of the weather and that's it i have to stay till maybe two to three weeks then that's when i can get sorted out and then plus uh getting my henna done which i'll have to look around either to get Nawihina to come home because she does house calls or someone else because that means me and the matriarch will be sorted out and then also the outfits because another thing that as well because getting dresses you know is a an extreme sport plus the tailor who used to get a you know dresses made is not around so that's another hurdle on its own like in a, inshallah things will be okay so i will show you guys the process of cleaning these brushes up and hopefully they will actually dry out this whole weekend so that i can have uh clean brushes to get the you know the makeup loop i desire because this is also an hygienic per se so stick around for that um also i will tag you guys along the whole wedding preparation and uh no but with our hassle free Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So it's a couple of minutes later, I'm done and thank god my brushes are finally clean. So the olive oil was actually the trick. Um, you mix it with the liquid soap and the warm water so it's able to emulsify and then break down the liquid and powder makeup products that has accumulated in the brushes. So I'm going to let this air dry and sun dry as well and it's going to take today and tomorrow and uh yeah i'm happy that it did the thing so the only thing that is remaining is like one beauty blender that well it's a mess so i've let it soak in the soap and the olive oil and then i'm going to wash it around in the evening but i'm pleased with this one week later the day before the wedding so i eventually went to town and got some stuff sorted out starting with kuchorwahina on both hands and uh getting my nails did so for the specific store slash uh let's say beauty place that need chorwahina um i leave the pin location to it in the description and then my obviously my nails i got it done at enhanced beauty 
So that is out of the way. So I came back home very exhausted and very hungry since the last meal I actually had was a bowl of cornflakes for breakfast. But that aside, uh, pardon, the light is looking very off. And yeah, I know my hair is looking wild. I just undid my cornrows because tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. Plus, uh, I just want to get my daughter's and that's it. it just stays away from my face. So I have a haul with me from two stores, starting with Wild by Morugi and then Miniso. So I'll go vice versa. Um, I'll start with Miniso, this desk phone holder that is from the Wee Bear Bears cartoon from Cartoon Network, obviously. Um, they had two designs, but this was the one that was actually calling my name because the other one was Qdoto, if I put it in the best one possible. Um, I will leave the prices of the items in the description box below. And this is for especially like when I'm watching Netflix or YouTube, Kwakitanda, and I don't need to hold my phone because you all know what happens. You get sleepy, you drop your phone, and then it becomes another mess. So I got this all together and it really, you know, I know it will save me for sure. So yeah. The other one is this uh, desktop vanity mirror. So this is how it looks like. Oh lord. There you go. So it's a, like an oval shaped. Uh, yeah, it's an oval shaped mirror with like two stands on it. And it has like a compartment in the back. Trying to open this box was chaotic. So I'll have to leave a couple of clips way later uh, showing the, how the product looks like. And uh, yeah, my only concern with Miniso is that I find as if the variety in the Mombasa store is very mediocre because it's like Mombasa stores always get the shorter end of the stick and it's like become a dead stock yeah the other stores those in a little hoku which I will delve into another video aside from that but anywho those are the two that I got from that store higher I will never thought in a million years I will get an item from well by Murugi but here we are so I got this two-piece set, which I will include a photo right here. And uh, I was quite skeptical because obviously of the sizing. And then second of all, um, that button down, I had to like really ask questions. Is the shirt actually going to fit the top rather? Because, you know, if you're part of the big TT committee, gaping shirts is not a friendly sight. Um, and you know the fact that it's like you're sitting down and just holes are just in between you know the buttons uh it's not too nice so i had to ask they're like yeah it will fit i tried it and i had to like squish myself in kidogo because of the buttons but the top was flawless solid 10 over 10. it's it it fit in like a glove it was small like butter oh it was fantastic but for the top i hope well by murugi you'll take into consideration just because someone is a size uk size 1820 um especially for the top kindly find a way to fix your buttons a little bit uh, wider so you can actually fit somebody rather than finding themselves to squish themselves into that top because where well, it was that it was like a challenge but the whole fit looked good completely and i'll show you guys the bag that came with it came like this with the branding but obviously they sent it through mash and uh this is the receipt i got it yesterday and uh yeah i'm very happy and uh i can't wait to wait tomorrow um i'm gonna keep it very simple like uh, a pair of chunky heels a turban I'll have to wear a vest inside because of this, because of the top, and then um, what else? Like a nice pair of earrings, and obviously I'm going to. I think I'm going to have some curls at the front when wearing my turban. So, period. I'm gonna be looking fly as hell. Anywho, let me get this hair shenanigan sorted out, and I'll catch up with you guys later. The next day. <laughs>
The next day. Hey everyone, so it's the next day. Uh, the wedding was actually a success. I enjoyed myself. I saw a couple of your favorite members and influencers in that wedding. Where that struggle is real, but all in all, it was a fantastic wedding. The food was impeccable, hot, fresh, yani, and it was in plenty. So, thumbs up. Uh, other than that, I had a good, you know, good evening, though it was exhausting. Uh, the whole weekend was just more, you know, of errands up and down. Wedding preparations, it was it was tough, but alhamdulillah we pulled through. So no more weddings until Majaliwa like mid September. So now I can catch a break. First of all, let me talk about the outfit. While by Murugi, y'all just killed it. I'm going to insert a photo here and uh and see for yourself. That outfit was killing, ten over ten. And then what else? My makeup was very simple. I didn't want to complicate things because where y'all know how Mombasa, majority of Mombasa residents, they're applying makeup. Like it's so wild. Like you know someone is brown or dark skin, but you end up putting like shades that are way too light for you, which doesn't make sense. I decided to stick to my concealer powder uh by I think was it a MAC NW45 powder foundation. Um, concealer was from Maybelline, mascara, Maybelline, just simple, you know, basic makeup items, and I, at least it, it it pulled through. Thank God, my eyebrows are actually setting well, so I'm very surprised that my eyebrows behaved. So yeah, I actually felt really nice, and my shoes from Moonwoods. Oof, chef's kiss. So today is Monday. It's a very slow start to the week, but Alhamdulillah, all is well. Um, other than that, nothing much has changed. It's the same old grind. I'm supposed to have a meeting with somebody either between this week and next week. Um, you are going to see who that person is. Um, but hopefully, I want it to be this week because I know next week will be a bit helter skelter. Uh, but all in all, it was a great, uh, great weekend. And I've actually found a tip on how to like, like maintain your henna designs Vaseline, but I mixed uh, what is it called? Johnson's baby oil na mafta ya ngombe. Let me tell you, especially after like you've done dishes or ume, ume, like ume, ume fua, and then you like used jig na sabuni ya kufua and then your hands like feel very dry and then now it's like at some point if you're not keen enough you start realizing that your print will end up fading so Immediately after I'm done with the dishes, na kufua, I take baby oil and mafta ya ngombe or Vaseline, whatever you have. Also, rob kiasi or vix, just a small amount. Then you rub it in and just massage it. Your print will be shiny. Your skin will be looking so good. And then you will maintain the longevity of the whole print. So this is what I did. It's a very simple print. Sikutaka mambo mengi. And then this is on the other side. I didn't want to have a same design on both hands, different. I remember everyone my aunties was asking, ah, you wanted something simple? Like, yeah, I'm such a simple don. It is what it is. So, yeah. I'm hoping and praying that, you know, since we're, we're in August, um, and almost heading to the end of the month, uh, all I can say is just take time for yourself. Be kind to yourself because every single day, some things just pop up and just happen drastically and life just changes drastically be kind to yourself that's the least you can absolutely do and uh take it a day at a time first of all we don't know where tomorrow we're always told oh save up for tomorrow do for tomorrow can you start living for now and i'm not saying to oh do me all out you know just take time for yourself if it's if, if you want to go head out for therapy go do if it's like go do activities that will actually please you and also, at the end of the day, don't forget your relationship with the Almighty. Because there's a difference between religion and spirituality. 
ni mwache na hiyo homework anywho um that's just about it uh i hope you'll enjoy the vlog thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one